Our coffee breaks with researchers aim to spread knowledge about regional development and innovation. By sending a camera around the world, we present you with different angles and insights on the topic. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We want to make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Researchers. Today, I'm having a coffee break with Marco Sotarauta. He is a professor at the Faculty of Management and Business at the University of Tampere in Finland. He is also an expert in regional development and leadership. Hello, Marco. Thank you for accepting my invitation to a coffee break. How are you doing? Hello, I'm, I'm very fine, thank you, and, and it's, it's a pleasure to join you. I'm having today a delicious coffee from Peru. Which one are you having? I'm never good at with brands, but the very same black bitter coffee we are always drinking here in Finland. That sounds like a really nice coffee. Um, I was just reading one of your papers in which you discuss the most important traps when designing um, policies and implementing them um, regarding a smart specialization. Could you please um, tell me in your own words what the paper was about? Well, the paper is, is first of all uh, about the latest policy fashion here in, in Europe, smart specialization and all the difficulties it may end up having and the place leadership it, it needs to be executed in the end. And since smart specialization is such a key concept, could you please define it? Uh, smart specialization is about bottom-up, inducive way of doing policy where the main aim is to, to mobilize and coordinate the activities and, and capabilities and, and powers of all the main entrepreneurs and leading organizations in the region to construct a shared vision. And uh, which ones were your main findings and challenges in writing this paper? Well, there are main challenges and I, I, I basically call them traps because we, we sometimes overuse the concept of challenges and, and, and forget that there really are difficulties. And the main traps, for example, are related to governance issues. Not all the regions and, and countries in, in Europe are well suited for this kind of new policy. Basically, their governance capacity is not good enough. Related to that, there may be issues related to capabilities. The local, regional, also national level practitioners are not trained for this kind of, of policy making, and this is calling for new thinking. In addition to that, also institutions may be in conflict. Some institutions favoring for uh, smart specialization, some hampering it, and that's a main issue. And and in the end, it may be that, and, and most likely, I would say, the idea of, of shared vision turned out to be really, really difficult to construct. And based on these findings, uh, which ones would you say are the most important policy implications for implementing smart specialization strategies? The main thing is to understand that uh, smart specialization is, is not the normal way of doing policy. Uh, designing policy, implementing it, and then evaluating it, and starting the whole cycle again. But it's uh, it's essentially about pooling and coordinate, coordinating and mobilizing capabilities, powers, resources, etc. And that calls for new kind of leadership to succeed. And I would very strongly recommend regions and countries in Europe to start learning and training themselves for new kind of leadership skills. Now, let me ask you about your personal motivation in doing this research. What was your main driver in doing it? Well, one, one very obvious motivation is that I have been writing quite a lot about place-based leadership and, is, and that's one of my hobby horses, if, if you like. Another motivation is that I have seen similar kind of programs and, 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 and policy initiatives here in Finland and I, I have seen them succeed and fail and and I truly would like to see smart specialization to succeed and that's why I thought that linking place leadership might add some value in that debate in, in Europe. Those were my questions, Marco. Thank you very much for having a nice chat with me. I hope to see you next time. I wish you all the best for your future research. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. 
And if you are interested in more details about this uh, research, uh, you can find the link to the academic publication below. See you next time. Bye-bye.